Today I'm going to show you how to create the interior of a line journal. So stick around. Hey everybody, Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that little bell icon so you get alerted every time I put out something new. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to create the interior of a line journal using both PowerPoint as well as Word. So I'm going to flip the screen around and let's get started. First up, Word. All I've done is create a brand new Word document. The first thing we're going to do is go to Layout, and I want to change the size. And this is going to be a 6x9, so I'm going to go to More Paper Sizes, and I'm going to change the width and the height to 6x9. Click OK. Now I want to adjust the margins. So I'm going to click on Margins, and I'm going to go to Narrow. That gives me a 1 half inch margin all the way around. Next, I click Insert, go to Tables, Insert a Table, and I want it to be one column by, I'm just going to say 20 rows for now. There are my lines. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be enough to fill the entire paper, so if I just hover over one of these, I can hit the plus sign and add more rows. Now, I'm going to click on the table, and I'm going to go to Borders, and I'm going to remove the outside borders. There you go. There's the interior of my lined journal. That's one page. I'm just going to duplicate this page as many times as I need to fill my book. Next up, PowerPoint. All I've done is I've created just a blank presentation. Double click and select Control A. Get rid of all of this interior because I don't need it. Again, just like with Word, I'm going to adjust the size. So for this, I go to Design, Slide Size, custom slide size and again I'm gonna make this a 6x9 click OK I always select ensure fit now with Word you have margins available that's not available in PowerPoint so we're just gonna to have to create our own go to insert insert a shape just make it square draw it wherever I want it I'm gonna right click inside it I'm gonna to go to size and position and this is going to be the one for along the sides, the left and the right. So I'm going to make the height the nine inches of my book. And I'm going to make the width half an inch, just so that way it's exactly the same as it is in my Word file. I just drag this where I want it. I'm going to select on it. I'm going to copy and paste it. Drag the second one over to here. Paste it again. This one's going to be for my top and my bottom. So I'm going to right click, size and position. This time I want the height to be half an inch but I want the width to be the six inches of my book. Place it where I want it. Copy, paste. There we go. There are my margins for my interior. So again, just like with Word, I'm going to insert table, insert a table, one column wide. I'm just going to do 20 rows for now. Click on it drag this and have it fit inside this area there we go now obviously I don't want this shading so I'm going to go to shading no fill and I'm going to borders and I'm going to select inside borders there are my lines now obviously I want to get rid of these margins so I just click on it and delete them and there's the interior page of my line journal. Again, I'm going to copy this slide as many times as I need for the interior of my book. Bonus tip, say I want to try something a little different. I'm going to click on some of these rows and if I right click and I go to borders and I put an outside border and then I click on borders again and I take away the inside border, I now have a children's storybook. So the child can draw their pictures and write their stories right here. So there you go. Very quickly, just by making some slight alterations, I now have a completely different interior for my journal. I can do the same thing for Word. Right click, borders, give it an outside border, borders again, and remove the inside borders. Once again, there you go. A children's storybook interior. Again, slight change, completely different journal. But wait, there's more. Also in Word, if you want to make a specific type of book, for example, you want to make one that's wide ruled, you can 
hover over the table, click on it, right click, go to table properties, go to row, select specify height. For a college world book, it's going to be 0.25 inches and you want to put row height exactly. And this will make it college world. But if I right click and do page table properties, if I want to make it wide ruled, that's 1130 seconds, which is actually 0.34375. Exactly. This is now the interior of a wide ruled journal. Well, there you have it. How to create an interior for a line journal using both Word and PowerPoint. And how about those bonus tips? Did you like them? Well, give that thumbs up a little smashy smash and show me a little love. Also, if you have any ideas for future videos, or if there's any other kind of interior that you want to know how to do, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Keith Wheeler, and remember to write right.